Good morning guys, hope you're all safe and well. Um, today we are going to be continuing with our theme and project based upon the idea of metamorphosis. Okay, so what I want you to do is look at the three images below and I want to, I, you to identify what you can see in them and write as many things down as possible. I'm going to give you approximately 30 seconds to do so. Okay, so if at any point this is going too fast for you, feel free to pause the video. That is entirely up to yourself. Okay, so in the first image, we can see what almost looks like a harvest festival. There's lots of flowers, there's lots of different fruits and veg in there. And all of this is used to make up a portrait of a man. The second one, we can see how they've made up the portrait of the man and they have used um, a sea life theme. OK, so they've used crabs, shells. You can also see on the fishes where they've all almost been painted so that they look slimy to touch. And you can see the eels like creeping around the top of his head. On the third one, you can see how the portrait of the man has been made up entirely of shrubs. OK, so this is the idea of using one object and transforming it into something completely different to create a completely different image. So if we recap on what we was looking at last week, metamorphosis is described in the dictionary as a change of the form or nature of a thing or person into something completely different. So one of the examples last week that one of you came up with was how a caterpillar turns into a completely different um, animal and it becomes this gorgeous butterfly. OK, so today you're all going to produce a piece of work in the style of Arkin Boulder. So today's learning objectives are for students to apply some of the features and objects that appear in Arkin Boulder's work. Students are to use their own choice of media to create your own version of Arkin Boulder's work. And students to apply detail and a variety of turns to make objects appear more realistic. OK, so when I'm talking about media, again, I'm talking about the different materials that you're going to use to create your work. So this could be collage, it could be watercolour, it could be pencil crayon. It could also just be normal plain graphite HB pencils or it could be biro pens. OK, so Archimbolder, Peter Archimbolder was um, an Italian painter born in 1526 and he died in 1593. OK, Archimbolder was best known for creating imaginative portrait heads and, and they were made entirely out of objects such as fruits, vegetables, flowers and fish. You can see how he manages to capture these as well, completely realistic. So you can see all the detail. If you look at the fish, you can see, like I've said, how he manages to capture them looking like wet and slimy almost. And the texture on the shrubs also looks like it's rough to touch. OK, so what I want you to do is... Um, in your sketchbook, if you have your sketchbooks or if you don't have your sketchbook, you can do this on a piece of paper. I want you to choose one of the templates that I've provided in your work packs with the shape of the head. So whether or not you're doing a full frontal image, like the fruit and vegetable one, or whether or not you want to do a side profile, like the shrubs or the fish arc in the image, that's up to you. You can choose one of those and I want you to trace the outline onto your piece of paper. Then what I want you to do is fill the head with household ob objects, vegetables, flowers, natural objects, shells, sea life, plants, anything that you'd like to fill them with, so long as it keeps in with one theme. Household ob objects, sorry, would be a really good choice because they'll be readily available to you and it is something that you can draw from first-hand observation. So first of all, I want you to draw these into the head in pencil first. OK, and then after that, you are going to choose what kind of media you're going to use. So remember, this can be paint, Pencil, crayon, collage or a mixture. So remember when drawing, your, when drawing your objects, remember to add as much detail as possible and add turn. OK, so by adding different um, shades 
to your work will help the objects look more realistic. So I'm going to keep this on the screen just so that you've got a checklist of what you need to be doing and in what order. But firstly, I'm just going to show you some examples of previous students' work. OK, so if you look at the top middle image, this was a student that I had previously who was not particularly brilliant at drawing and they felt really uncomfortable doing the drawings for the pieces of work, but they was amazing at producing pieces of collage. So what they did was they cut out lots of pieces of fruit and veg that they'd seen in magazines and they'd stuck those down to the paper to create this portrait. However, if you do decide to do this, you do need to make sure that on a separate piece of paper you also produce a study a drawing of one of the objects that you've used okay so that would be classed as a separate piece of work and it just you just have to draw one item in detail okay you see as well on some of these so if you look at the bottom one on the right hand corner this one here has been painted and then they've gone over that in felt tips so the, um, there's one on the bottom left hand corner. So that one there's really clever. That one there's been done in different coloured pencils. And the first top left image that you see is an example of one of the higher ability pieces of work. This one here was done in paint and then they've gone over it and added um, oil pastel to the top. OK, so they've used the theme of sh um, shells on their work. OK, so it's up to you whether or not you want to keep this on the screen for ideas or if you want to go back and have your checklist of what you need to do for, um, to produce your piece of work. So it's up to you. You can either keep it on this screen or the next. OK, once you've done that, if you can pause the, pause the video until you have completed your image, it should take about 30 minutes to get the basic drawing done. OK, so finally, what I'd like you to do is to evaluate your work. So on a piece of paper, can you write down what you think you could do to improve your work? OK, so you can look back at the other images of the examples shown by previous students, if you wish. OK, and then I also would like you to write down how does the artist connect to the theme of metamorphosis? If it helps, you can look back at the learning objectives to see how you've met them. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for your time.